How's it going everyone? Mitch here with another Logic Pro 10 tutorial. So we're going to be talking about audio quantizing. So before us we have this drummer track, we have a guitar main track and a guitar lead track. Now as I play this, notice that the guitar main is just slightly late as compared to the drummer. So we're going to fix that in this tutorial. Alright, so let's fix that. Let's select that track. Um, guitar main, it'll open it up in the editor, we can select our flex, uh, showing flex on that track. It'll go through and find the transients based on the slicing algorithm that it has automatically chosen. Uh, and you can see that all of these markers are linked to the transients in the track. Uh, if this hasn't happened to your track, either transients aren't uh, big enough to automatically select. Um, and if that's the case, you can always go down and select rhythmic. I find that rhythmic, uh, that, that algorithm works a little bit better depending on um, you know, uh, the, the, the transients in your tracks, how um, deliberate they are. Um, and then now once we're in here, um, the idea is that these transient markers are going to be snapped to the beat, which we'll choose later. So we want to go through and make sure all of the things that we want to be shifted to the beat are selected. If it's not selected, we can select once in this editor to create a marker. And up at the top, we can hit the X to remove it, remove any of the markers. And it looks like this algorithm has done a great job at identifying all of those transients that I want to shift. So next step is to get out of the editor, go over, select the track that you want. Um, this is the guitar main track. Go over to the inspector on the left, drop down the region, and select quantize, which will open up this list of different beats that we can snap our transient markers to. In my case, one eighth note is going to work just fine. In your case, it might be one sixteenth or greater, or you could even uh, put some swing on it, you know, do whatever you want here. But for me, one eighth note is going to work out perfectly. And you can see that the, uh, the view here shifted the audio just slightly. So if we open up the editor again, we can see that the blue parts, which have been uh, smushed just a little bit, and the white parts, which have been um, expanded just a little bit, uh, um, have you know, shifted directly to the beats, uh, to that one, that, that eighth note beat. Uh, and this is exactly what I want. So let's play this track and notice how it is perfectly on time. All right, so that is exactly what we were going for. Now, if you have any more questions, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, else, have a great day. Peace.